Hello and welcome everybody to Camping Buddies. Just fucking started the podcast and they were talking about fucking pancakes and waffle sausages. Uh, sausages. They were talking about sausages. That blood makes sausage, sense. actually. He said blood sausage and I literally don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Obviously, it's sausage. the grossest fucking thing ever. Is it like a blood clot? <laughs> that's what it's I'm like, imagining. Uh, my dad and sister had it, and I was like, "I'm not fucking touching that thing." At the not at the Harry Potter world. Harry Potter world. Anyway, hi process. guys. Hi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So, firstly, for this episode, Happy St. Patty's Day. We're literally recording this Ooh. on St. Patty's Day. Honk Scott is green. I tried to put on green, but for some reason it's not green. It's like green, fucking green. Well, you could at least turn your your little lights on. Fuck gamer no. lights. Yeah. Gamer lights. Gamer but Christmas. They're Wi-Fi multicolored, so it's there's green in it. Is it? Is there? Yeah. Take it or leave it, viewers. <laughs> Take it or leave it, viewers. First off, going around the table, how are we all feeling today? Honk, how are you feeling this St. Patty's Day? I don't feel like it's St. Patty's Day. I didn't even know until Kelly said something. Kelly, how do you feel about today? I didn't realize it until I got into my work, because... Uh, there was a big ass crafts table full of green shit, and I was like, oh, "St. Patrick's Day!" Because yesterday was my sister's birthday, and she was born the day before Think uh, uh, St. Patty's Day. No, um, St. Patrick's Day, and it was crazy. Um, so I was like, "Fuck! I forgot to wear anything green." Because I have like one green shirt. And that's it. And I was like, "I could have fucking worn it." It's like the only time you actually break out anything green. I literally never wear anything green. <laughs> Green's like one of my favorite colors to wear. I yeah, think I but, look good in green. Yeah, you look good in green. I do not look good in green. Mm, I look awful in green. Alyssa, how are like you I've feeling today? Um all right. We're having St. Patrick's dinner on Sunday, so that it can be like a whole family thing. We're having corned beef and cabbage, you know, very salty. Another Dude, 10. you're you're so lucky you have a bathroom to yourself. <laughs> Pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Comes in handy. Beef and cabbage. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a traditional thing. Mm-hmm. An Irish thing. Yeah. Yeah, traditional Irish food. Oh. Uh, you're actually Irish? Uh I'm not, no. But we like the food. Alan, yeah. <laughs> she's a, she's a she's a pretender. Alan is definitely not either. Oh. Um, I the only thing I give a shit about today is the Shamrock Shake, and I'm pretty sure it ends oh. probably the next day, honestly, which is really fucking sad. Are you saying tomorrow? Yeah, and I only got two. So so you're saying that's more than anyone else got. Is over. <laughs> Uh, Kelly, you can kindly get the fuck out. Yeah, Kelly, see yourself out. I had to make shamrock shakes and shamrock make fucking flurries. I don't want to hear it. These these bitches like, oh, I want to try them. Try them? No. What? Did you ever try them? Yeah, they're the bomb dot com. But the, all they added <laughs> okay, was just okay. liquid. Uh, the liquid yeah, shit to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never tried it, but I don't like. They meat. added like. I don't like mint either. Like, like I don't get mint shit or anything like that. But I fucking love. I fuck with shamrock, and for some reason, it's just like they put something in it that's just. I don't know. It's mustn't. It's like a. If they had like if there was like an eighties movie that had demonstrate goo, like a green goo, it would be the shamrock fluid. Uh, for those it's who are wondering what's going on with Kelly, his Wi-Fi is dark garbage. Green gone forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> is, is, is it Jerry Elden Ring or something? <laughs> this is the only thing we're working on here. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, so 
yeah, for those who are wondering what, what's going on over there, his Wi-Fi is kind of shitty at the moment. Um, also, he might be under a little bit of the influence, which is pretty fun. Here's to St. Patty's Day. <laughs> was that your goes, first and only? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I also have this so one, just in case Jeremy like hid my stuff away from me. <laughs> I wanted to get one more. Why would he hide it? Because he doesn't want me drinking. Are you an alcoholic? No. Are you supposed to be in recovery right now? Are we bad influences? Are we yeah. bad influences? The, the, I'm trying to this intervention. Jelly. Yeah, we, I actually haven't hit record, Kelly. We're just here to talk to you. <laughs> I was about to just Imagine. fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, first on the little bucket list of things we want to talk about, Overwatch 2. Alyssa, take it away. Overwatch 2. Um, the beta is finally going to be playable for, like, public in late April. Been waiting a ripe two years for this. And more we get a taste that. of it. More, more than that. Five the, fucking yeah, years. More than five <laughs> years. <laughs> Five fucking yeah. years, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. But that's, like, the most excitement I've had this entire COVID season, I think. Yeah. I mean... Guys, I think this is Sir Elden Ring. What? Yeah. Overwatch this is, is Sir Elden my Ring. Elden Ring. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're just never going to see her again. I'm thinking about yeah. playing a little bit of Overwatch <laughs> too, but... Uh. Um, no, you're not. Fist is gonna be a tank, so less annoying to me as a Moira. Um, Kelly's surprised about this. And they're reworking his abilities. I don't know what they are though. I feel like his shotgun is probably still good. Like his knuckle fist, his knuckle fist. What the fuck am I? <laughs> his, his knuckle, knuckle buster. Cluster. His knuckle buster clustered, but monster. It's connected to the, the knuckle gu the, the knuckle guster. Guster. Knuckle guster. <laughs> but yeah, no, I can see I can definitely see Doomfist being a tank. Imagine they just give him a bigger fist. Uh, <laughs> like, his, fist. like his fist is just like <laughs> ju like fucking size of hog. <laughs> so That's funny. his old just his fist doubles. <laughs> takes like a fucking uh. mushroom yeah um shit i totally had something to like bring to the table about this but i i can't for the life of me remember what it was um are we getting every overwatch character in this like every current one that we have is there, are they going to be like confirmed overwatch 2 yeah plus. all of them are going to be plus sojourn Something. And, uh, plus more, because there was leaked files, leaked pictures of the fucking queen, the junk, junk, uh, junk, junker town queen. What? Her, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, a model was leaked. Like as something, as... It, like her arm or something and her weapons. So, picture this. It, it was 2015, and it was like, was it 2015? I think it was 2015 when it was released. Jesus right? Christ! <laughs> you maybe I'm sorry. honestly maybe I should look it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, um, so they kind of like announced characters a little bit before the game was released. So they were announced like Diva, Lucio, and Zarya, I think. Genji too. Do they're going to? Yeah, Genji. We're gonna. I think that they're going to be like announcing like three new characters before the game's actually released to just to build up hype mm. and they haven't released any so overwatch 2 isn't coming out until five years from now <laughs> five more years it needs to <laughs> if ripen. you do the math <laughs> <laughs> bro i was, I was yeah. just telling Alyssa, i was like i like this was announced so long ago that i genuinely don't think they actually touched it like, I literally yeah. feel like they just started working on the game. 
And like the hype is already gone. Um, uh, I love Overwatch and I've stopped playing it like as much as I used to. My friend Dave, the only game he ever played was Overwatch and he doesn't play it at all anymore. Like Overwatch 2 might not succeed that much. Well, I feel like it's gonna get bombarded with like it took it him might... long enough kind of reviews. Yeah. It might bring people back though. I well, agree. for like a week, but it's... it'll probably die off fast as fuck. Well, depending on yeah. how good it is. It's going to be a story with it though, so it's gonna be a lot more animation involved, a lot more of the Outfits remodeling, new characters that might be released, their mechanics, seeing if that works, play testing it. It's a bunch of shit goes in this big ass game. It's Overwatch two. It's like Overwatch times two. So <laughs> it's like it's gonna be a lot of shit. A bit. <laughs> yeah. Aliens. <laughs> Sex scenes. Whoa. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't even know how that spawned, but, um, but yeah, Overwatch 2, I feel like it's going to be, like, there's going to be, like, people who have been holding on this entire time for it to be a good game, and then they're going to get shat on when it's not, but they're still going to try to defend it. It's like, yeah. guys, just because it doesn't work at all with any console or PC or configuration at all doesn't mean it's a bad game. Like fuck me. The community died two years ago. Seriously. And didn't the Battle.net, didn't they combine with Microsoft? Like, don't you yeah. have to buy all that shit on Microsoft now, or is it still on Battle.net? No, it's still on Battle.net. Oh, you know what? If so last episode we talked a lot about the Funimation Crunchyroll thing. I'm just like, it's kind of crazy how all these companies are making like these huge ass moves lately, isn't it? Like, one yeah. Microsoft, Blizzard, Activision, fucking Sony bought something, but I forgot what it was. Oh, Funimation and Crunchyroll? Sony bought Funimation and Crunchyroll? No, no, no. I was listing another. Oh, yeah. Funimation bought uh, Crunchyroll. And then Sony bought something, but I forgot what it was. And then I think there was another. I think there was even another one that bought out something. But it's a bit concerning. It's that's just business, baby. Well, yeah, but like it is kind of weird that it's like all at once. Like everything's combining into this one thing. Oh, we could talk about like the Disney uh, Warner Brother rights. That was a really big one. That's that. Was that recent? Uh, it wasn't nearly as recent, but like Disney bought the rights back to uh, the X Men, Daredevil, all them. That those sort are... of they bought all those. That's a Fox. Not oh, Warner Fox, Warner. not Warner. Sorry, stupid. Uh... But yeah. So yeah, back then Marvel was just comic books, and that wasn't holding up their uh, end of the bargain. So they sold the rights to media movie companies. To help keep it afloat. Yep. And when they finally got enough money, they just made their own studio and then bada bing bada boom. So now they're like in a feud to get all that shit back to do Fantastic Four or X Men. Yep. Because they're the only ones who can probably do it right. Honestly, uh Jesse, so for those who don't know, Jesse's our uh, good friend. He's one day he'll be here. One day. Mm -hmm. But uh he just recently finally got to watch the Spider-Man movie, the most recent one. And he was saying, like, it was good, but it could have been better. And that's honestly my consensus on it, too. Like, I feel like Sony kind of dropped the ball on it a little bit. But it was still, it was good. It just wasn't, like, other Marvel movies good. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't well, really have any issues with it. I thought it was really well made. Well, and like cinematic more so than actiony, sure, but like good nonetheless. I feel like they could have one done a way better job with Sandman CGI. Mm. I feel like he looked a little bit yeah. clay faced. Um I also well, just don't really I don't they know. They did really good with um 
Doc Ock's CGI because he looks way older and they made him look pretty fucking young. Yeah, and he, you can't really cool. tell a difference. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. I, I like. Are Doc these Ock. were these villains like picked up to be in that universe before they were killed, like directly before, or it was just like an alternate universe where they well, lived? Yeah, no. Or... I think no, it was a moment where before they, they died. Right they're about yeah. to die. It's like the... they died and they've just got shipped right on into that universe is where their mindset is. No, they're so this like is that's right what before that's the last thing die. that they remember. Yeah. Yeah, the last thing they remember is they were about to die. Does that does that go towards the other Spider Man See that's what I that's that was my huge like question his... during that, right? Like, that didn't make any sense to me, because, like, if they were about to die, then the spider man that came would know that. And, like... Well, no, because yeah. there's different timelines and universes. I mm. thought it was that they were dead, and when they kept referencing throughout the movie, like, if we send them back, send them back that they're gonna die, they just mean because they're alive currently in that universe. No. And when they get sent back, they're just poof immediately non-existent again because they're already dead no so electro oh, actually I, explained it he he said like it was kind of funny how he did it he was like oh i wasn't gonna die and then he was just like i was i was tapping into the city power grid i was taking in all that power and it was becoming a little bit too much and then i was like oh shit i was gonna die <laughs> and he and he got sent over there like right before that which it's just like like that's what i really don't understand so like they know so they are definitely from toby's and andrew's universe right they are definitely yeah. from their universes the same ones but mm -hmm. fucking like that's what i don't understand so like how could their stories have moved forward if those characters didn't die so in each universe there's different time branches you know like how they showed in loki so it could be from like a different time branch you know so the ones and that like they saw electro die, died electro might not even be from andrew garfield's i don't know either timeline or universe because i don't know someone was speculating that he might be from miles morales's because he was saying that he thought spider-man might be black well, yeah, but he's just like, when are we going to get a black uh, Spider-Man or some shit like that? And he also never saw Spider-Man's face or knew his identity, I'm pretty sure. I think he was just guessing that he was black. Yeah, I think it's just because none of the other Spider-Men have had their identities revealed. Or, I mean, or not to, to the that degree specific of villain. Like, yeah, not to the degree. Some, some do know, right? Yeah, well, that was, like, the point. They came Goblin to that knew, universe. Knew. Yeah, that was the point, because, like, everyone yeah. knew who Peter yeah. Parker was. Oh. But Actually, I don't remember Sandman through. finding out. Bro, I need to, like, rewatch all that. No, Sandman yeah. definitely found out. Yeah, like, the very end, like, when Sandman was, like, dying mm -hmm. is when, like, oh. Peter was, like, crying over his sand, like, In the arms of an angel. Yeah. I think that's the same movie as Venom, right? Yeah. With Venom? See, that one's one that I really wanted to figure out. What the fuck happened to that Venom? That would be an interesting thing, is seeing that Venom with our Venom. Um, didn't he knew Peter's identity, too? Or maybe they got mixed up with Venoms. So it's like that well, Venom went to that universe. The whole thing with Venoms is like the the hive mind thing. So like... All Venoms know Peter Parker because one of them knew Peter Parker across universes and whatnot. Right. I have... I like, linked even... knowledge? Yeah. Across universes, though? I think so. Oh, I think that's what I they said. Damn, my brain wants to fucking explode right now. Anyway, Spider-Man was good, but not as good as it could have been, and... I feel like if Disney was, like, mostly in charge of that, it would have gotten even better. Well, you're comparing it to other Marvel movies. Yeah. But when you... I don't know. I think you might be thinking of, like, 
the Avengers ones, but like yeah. each one's <laughs> individual movies are like some of them are pretty hit or miss. Yeah, Thor: The Dark World. It's good, but it's not great. It's not great. Yeah, um, neither of the Dark um, Thors are which... other than Ragnarok. Yeah, exactly. Black uh, Widow. I didn't mind Black Fight Widow. Me. Black I Widow was it. shit. I, I, She's my favorite fucking Marvel character. Her movie was garbage. For I real. I didn't hate it, but I maybe that's because I found it hot. <laughs> it was a little I liked hot. It, for you, Anna. it was a little hot. Hot like. Like hot or. <laughs> really? Yeah. What other hot would yeah. it be, Kelly? Was <laughs> fucking temperature Obviously hot. not men. <laughs> the villain was basically Jeffrey Epstein or any other scummy <laughs> producer. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Taskmaster was fucking butchered. Okay, uh, they the were butchered, but they were almost. still really fucking cool, in my opinion. They were butchered, anyway, but it was... Uh... <laughs> Kelly, you listen to me and you listen good. <laughs> it, what? It was good, alright? Taskmaster might not have been anywhere near comic book accurate, but I loved the fact that they were able to copy like very noticeable moves from different Marvel characters. Like that everyone could like plainly recognize, you know what I mean? It it made sense for the movie. To be, uh, to have like an all female thing, which I get, and it made which the theme of the story that female get, women get hurt by powerful men, which was the whole like shtick of the movie, um, and it would made it made perfect sense for her, for Taskmaster to be a woman, but where's Tony Masters? Taskmaster is supposed to be the scariest fucking fool in the in the Marvel universe. One of them, like if you saw like daredevil running it's because of fucking taskmaster <laughs> and it's it's just so easy it's so easy to like hide a female behind like this big bulky stunt double that's obviously a guy doing these stunts right it's like I mean, okay i'm a, I'm a big broad ass shoulders you know they look nothing like a woman so it's just so easy to make like okay mask on and then like male stunt double mask off i'm a i'm a girl you know <laughs> it's cheap and it's not very believable. Okay, I feel it that. makes sense um, if the female was like super buff and like did these crazy stuff. It doesn't make any sense. I well, mean, the actress never... who played Taskmaster, she was pretty bulky. Well, we don't really know that. I don't think we ever saw her outside mm-hmm. of her suit. I guess I don't know. Just like her structure looked a little bulk. I'm gonna turn off my video for a sec because jeremy needs to go to bed so it's gonna be off for the rest of the podcast okay all right you know one wants to see jeremy schnoozing in the background <laughs> we still gotta meet him i want to see if it flops out <laughs> oh, <it> flops out <laughs> <laughs> the soda can <laughs> the pringles can oh god <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, it's off. I'm sorry, but we gotta hey. respect Jill's privacy. I have to like move Hector back up here now. Thanks, Kelly. I'm so weak. <laughs> Son of a um, bitch. <laughs> it's like move. Fucking hell, I had to move this shit. All right, uh, moving to make it look perfect. Um. I think the only MCU movie that I thoroughly enjoyed was probably at the time Infinity War because you didn't know what was going to happen next and it had a lot of sense of dread and real drama behind it. I just don't feel like you could have had that same experience had you not cared about the other movies at all though. Right. Like Infinity War is what got me into the MCU. I was like, okay, okay, this is it. This this is what I can be. You got into it at the very end. You kind of got so the thing about that is like you got into it at the end, but you got it into it at the beginning. New MCU, I am not as inclined to care about for some reason. Yeah. Now that now that Steve Rogers is gone, now that Tony Stark is gone, it's Oi. just like 
I got some shit to say. Okay, so I put it in the the topics list. The trailer for Ms. Marvel just came out like a week ago or something. Mm-hmm. Has anyone else seen it? Yes. I have not yet. Kelly, what did what did you think of it? Um, you have opinions. I like the change of powers that they gave her. It made sense. Um, I feel like it's going to be a teeny popper show. It's only going to appeal to younger audiences. Exactly. Um, but like, I don't know shit about Miss Marvel. I just know that watching this trailer, it did not feel like an MCU kind of vibe. It just seemed so targeted to like children. And just like a younger vibe. What was it was like like a preteen oh, show. Yeah, it. I'm just now starting to watch the trailer and immediately getting that vibe. Yeah. Yeah, instantly. I have to look this up real quick. Like it's very uh, Gen Z humor surrounding mm, yeah. it. Younger even. Yeah. I'm excited for She Hulk and Moon Knight. To okay, yeah, this does kind of look like Pen15 or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they did with her powers? Uh, What did they do with her powers? Because I know that her actual powers are like stretching, isn't it? Yeah, so basically they wanted to reserve the stretchiness for Mr. Fantastic and not to confuse any audience people, like typical like moviegoers. I guess that kind of they... makes sense. They kind of changed it into Green Lantern, but only with body parts, I think. So so if she wants to grow big, it's going to be like a crystallized looking form instead of her big, gross, stinky hand growing. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, still kind if of you ever, cool. Yeah, I think it looks visually more appealing than her like weird body yeah that makes a lot of sense actually that'd that'd probably be like a little bit weird to look at i can imagine like all the jokes that would come out of that it'd be better if mr fantastic was sporting that giant hand also i don't know (laughs) did i see a picture of her wearing captain marvel's suit yes her biggest inspiration for being a hero is the former lady heroes but like her actual suit or just like I'm pretty sure it's just a costume. Yeah. It was just a costume. It's not her actual suit. It's so it, weird it, that like people like ha- like it's so weird that she has that actually. That's just like the weird part to me. I don't know. On in there, I don't get how she could be inspired by um Captain Marvel cuz she hardly does shit in Yeah. The movies, right. like, how would she even get hyper? Anything? She never sticks around long enough to like yeah, be praised. I that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like she, she one, she went to Earth like twice. I don't even think in her movie, yeah. like, she was really on Earth. She left. She dipped after the end of her movie. She left to go to another planet. Yeah. yeah. So, like, why the fuck would we have Miss Marvel shit or Captain Marvel shit? That makes sense. If there was any hero that she would be really like going after, it'd be Black Widow. It would be fucking yeah. the Wasp. It would be the Wanda. Wasp. That'd Wan- be sick. Well, not really Wanda because she's kind of a terrorist now. Yeah, yeah, the only public image she has is blowing up a building. Well, since well, taking a town not, hostage, since, uh, she was since a they lead. saved the snap yeah. thing. She's probably more of a hero. But right? then there was Wanda no? Vision. Oh, true. No, yeah. she's definitely not a hero. My yeah. bad. I mean, she's like a neutral. Like, people know what she did, but they kind of get it, so they kind of just let it go because well, she was Well, we're going to have to see what she does in Multiverse of Madness. I think she's the villain on that one. I don't think she's the um, villain. I don't, I don't well, think she's, she's the not the villain, but... There's going to be a villain of version her of her, be. I think, but yeah. not her. Ah. Uh, that's how I think it's going to be. Honestly, people are so over... I feel like Multiverse of Madness might suck. I, I feel like it's going it to looks be super overhyped. pretty cool with the visuals. I'm excited for American Chavez. I'm excited for Professor Xavier and the Illuminati. Wait, so Xavier is 100% going to be a part of this? Uh, yeah. 
that's cool. I, not, I don't well, want to be 100%, but I mean, it's pretty obvious that that's Patrick it, Stewart's who voice. Who else is he going to play? That's, that, I feel like that might, they might be, like, you remember at the end of Spider-Man 2, how J. Jonah Jameson was, like, there, and everyone's like, ah, they put him in the movie, that's so funny. I feel like that's how it's mm-hmm. going to be. But it's not going to be, like, the same, like, person. I think Tom Cruise as, what's his name, Tony Stark is going to be in it. Superior uh, Iron Man. That's, Superior like, something, that's where I'm like, okay, I kind of want to draw the line there. It would be cool, but there you're just trying to fit too much into this. Like, a multiverse a movie cameo. shouldn't be that big, you know what I mean? A cameo? Yeah, like he's going to come on screen for two seconds as Superior Iron Man and then dip? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Um, So, in in it, there's going to be those five people that, like, counsel or whatever. And mm -hmm. Superior Iron Man's in it, right? So, Superior Iron Man, Dr. Xavier, Mr. Fantastic, Dr. Doom... Doctor Doom. Is, in the comics, I think they're all inside the Illuminati. Doctor Strange, I think. Maybe they're inviting him to the council. Yeah. What? Maybe. Maybe. I, maybe. I doubt Doctor Doom. What? Yeah, that doesn't would, even make sense. Why would Doom be in it? That, that why would Fantastic and Doom be? Because they're smart. They are smart fellas, and they felt smart, so they joined the new Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Fantastic's like, all right, see you in my city in five. Like, what the fuck? They kidnapped what? him with those fucking uh, Doctor well, they're also, Who villains. Are they, they're all from different like timelines and universes, right? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe it's in maybe this Dr. case, Doom's they will. Like, actually a good guy. Hmm. Unlikely. Um, Imagine that's how the movie goes. Like, it's just like, oh, wait, no, Doctor Doom turned out to be an evil guy. Who could have fucking guessed that? <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. I'm really excited for She Hulk. I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna fret. I. I haven't seen shit about She Hulk, but I feel like I saw something earlier that had like a. I don't remember the name of it, but it had like a Hulk looking thing on it, and some other other Marvel characters. <laughs> they had some promo stuff leaked for She Hulk. Um, in her comics, she was total cheesecake, which was like big boob, big butt, bikini stuff. And uh, I doubt they're going to be doing that in the MCU. But yeah, I really she was fun and, and she was super strong and she was like a very pretty, uh, like like a bikini model, basically. Mm-hmm. I kind of like it. Um, she's my second favorite uh, MC, uh, Marvel character. So I don't know what they're going to be doing with her. Who's your first favorite? Black Widow. Oh, no. You know this. Right. You and your womanly heroes. I love my curvy women. Why do I... <laughs> you have a funny way of showing it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's... I She was so much fun in the comics, and she kind of diluted her character a bit later on. They made her look like an actual Hulk, which is like, Ugh, what the fuck? So she's like a seven foot tall babe, which I hope she they fucking keep in the show. Jeez. Uh, uh, Red Hulk is supposed to appear in her show. Regular Hulk. Red She-Hulk, which is Betty. <laughs> um, so Mark Ruffalo is supposed to be coming back as the Hulk for this? Yeah, uh, Mark Ruffalo is like probably a secondary character so so it's like hawkeye i haven't seen hawkeye but it's kind of like that yes okay because like yeah it'd be kind of cool to show like her confidence confidence bloom because in the um like if she's not in shield form she's like a timid little lawyer and she's not probably being take uh not taken seriously but when she busts out into her green fucking uh, lavish looking form. Superman. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I think she can switch between either or, but she likes to keep her green form. I feel like the, <laughs> I feel like her learning curve for controlling her Hulk is going to be like immediate. 
and like the dialogue between her and Ruffalo is going to be funny because he's going to be like, that took me years, like literal uh, years. <laughs> well, it's a bit diluted. She has some of the genes from Hulk because they had a blood transfusion um, because she got shot and in the comics. I and still so, don't entirely understand the whole Hulk thing because Hulks are a race, right? They have a whole planet. Uh, no, so, it's uh, Kelly. You can you can you Planet explain. Hulk, right? I can't explain Planet Hulk. I'm a bit. <laughs> we have to think a bit smaller here when we're talking about Hulks. I I can I can kind of explain it. Okay. So to my knowledge, Planet Hulk is a planet in which gamma radiation is like as common as like fucking oxygen, apparently, and so the species that adapted their Hulks. Because that's, you know, what the fuck happens to, like, the bodies and shit um, like that. So that's where the planet of the Hulks comes from and why everyone's Hulk. Huh. Okay. And so when Hulk, you know, arrives to this gamma radiation planet and he's like, yo, the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. So, I Their mean, planet, it's entirely green. Imagine coming up in like a red pair of boxes, and you're like, they're like, oh, what, the, what, what? Dude, racism is probably a huge issue on Planet Hulk. Holy shit! There's only like three color Hulks you can you're be. Not green. You're a different shade of green. What the fuck? <laughs> you're either green, gray, or red, as far as I know. I don't think there's like any other color. I don't think there's I any was a other purple. color. Oh, oh bulk! <laughs> Incredible bulk! <laughs> uh, the actor bulk? who played as General Ross died. Oh, what? Really? He, he's dead. When was this? This was, like, very recent. He passed. Oh, that's un that is really unfortunate for this. Huh? Well, they'll just CGI I him in. Yeah. The last don't time fucking... we saw him, oh, I think, God. was... Was it in? It was either Civil War or it was literally all the way back in like Thor. Boy, he was in Black Widow. He was hunting her. He was in Endgame too. Oh yeah. right, General I Rose. About that. But he's supposed to be Red Hulk. Well, that's so fucking unfortunate. <laughs> in um, I forget the actor's name, but like the earlier Hulks, who who was the Rock guy? Abomination. The thing, not the thing. Abomination. Um, abomination. Yeah. I heard he bombed a nation. And here's the abomination of the Obama's Don't nation. laugh, Alyssa. Don't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Alyssa literally couldn't handle that for some reason. <laughs> that was too good. <laughs> Oh comedic gosh. timing <laughs> you know yeah that's true um so <laughs> I feel like She-Hulk has the potential to be good but I feel like it's going to be way more of a comedy than anything so what I wanted to compare this mm -hmm. to do you, have you guys heard of that uh, new show coming out or that is out called Turning Red I saw oh, it yeah. I watched it I want to watch it i'm gonna watch it sunday i don't think i want to watch it it looks awful to me but um that's all i can imagine like i feel like it's just gonna be her emotions turning into hulk and then like slowly going down no i i think later in the comics she was able to switch back and forth but um she felt more confident and uh, beautiful in her she hulk form so she continued that, and she became like a civil rights uh, voice for superheroes, and then so she defends as a lawyer. Oh, it's like uh, Turning Red is about little girls going through period, pretty much. Really? They actually talk about pads. They show actual pads in this movie. <laughs> it's a. Mo I thought it was a TV show. Yeah. Animations are the animation in that movie is so good. I loved how fluent the characters looked. I loved the colors. They popped. Um, Kelly, I'm gonna send you a picture of a screenshot that I sent to Alyssa. Really quick. Uh, okay. No, okay. the last one that you had sent me. Yeah. I feel out of the loop. 
Oh, also guys, to I YouTube. lied. I am 8% Irish. I just now look at the history. You want to shamrock Jake? Yeah, what? no, thank you. I'm sorry, Jake. <laughs> awesome. Poor Jake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. why the... <laughs> why now, in the middle of our podcast? This is so irrelevant. It's no, that's, that's from turning red. red. Oh. Can you show it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I could probably edit that in, sure. All right, Honk did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I don't... I'll... Uh, you go the, the other light. way. Go okay. the other way. Okay. The, anyway. the light was, was a... like dead on. It was a good movie. I didn't mind it. I don't. Th- I think I just don't think it would be for me. I I was like thinking about it, but I was like, uh... it it looks like the same studio that uh did uh Luca though. It's Pixar. It is Pixar. And Pixar is pissed because they were expecting this to be a theater uh, release, but Disney was Ooh. like, "No, let's release on Disney Plus." Which, to be mm-hmm. fair, it is a very Disney Plus show. If it was released on in theaters, I think it would be kind I of bad. I think it would tank. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did they want it? In... So, if since it's on Disney Plus, do you still have to pay for it? Like how they did with like Shang-Chi and Black Widow? No. Oh. I think they just release automatically now. That's pretty interesting, yeah. Um, um, continue. Speaking of Disney <laughs> Plus, uh, are we ready to go to the next topic? Yeah, go for it. Which one? Obi-Wan Kenobi is Obi-Wan coming no, Obi. soon, and I am not excited. Yep. What? Mm-hmm. You're not excited care. for that one? I oh. have never cared for Obi Wan. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick and tired of Star Wars. They've oh, shit it out the last God. of my interest. Yo, I'm so okay. done. I watched the trailer today, and I feel like it's gonna be a lot better than Boba Fett. Mandalorian, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not it'll be, be on par Mando, at least. Honestly. You don't fucking know that. I feel okay. like Mando's the golden standard. One thing, okay, I'm just so relieved and happy that we're finally gonna see some fucking lightsabers at the very least. Um, please and thank you. Lightsabers in Mandalorian. We got one. Uh, the dark saber and yeah. Luke's lightsaber and, and Ahsoka's Luke's. lightsaber and, and oh, I forgot Ahsoka and Grogu. But still, it just didn't Grover's feel lightsaber. like much. Like, I don't know. I'm. Excited to see more of the Sith in Obi Wan and more of Ewan McGregor for sure. Oh, that fifty-six-year-old yeah. man! How yeah, happy you. that uh, one. Didn't you fuck a fifty-six-year-old man? Oh uh, my! It was fifty-three, actually. Oh, uh, oh my, my bad. <laughs> That Dude. was a low, a low. Yeah, that was a low. Yeah, <laughs> what a memory, huh? You're Jesus dark. Christ. Yeah, that stuck with me. <laughs> um, Hulk only like pulls out, pulls shit out of his ass when he's like losing a battle. Like that's... he's just like, don't you cry during sex, Alyssa? <laughs> Every time we argue. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> He has nothing better to say. He just Dude, whips it just out. King shame. <laughs> what? What? Oh. Can we talk about uh, you, how you sure. pissed on your girlfriend? How about that, bitch? Uh, we've already done that like three times in podcasts. So or we'll your grandma away. kink. Oh, good one. You want to talk more about? That? I'll tell you more about that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kink shame me. <laughs> Right, but anyways, I saw they're also gonna bring back um, Luke's, I guess, uncle or stepdad. That actor's coming back for the show. Didn't he get deep fried? Yeah. What? Yeah, he got deep fried. Yeah, deep fried. That's Seven Eleven microwave. <laughs> yeah. Turned <laughs> <laughs> into a fucking McNugget. I got nuked. <laughs> well, it's back. <laughs> um don't forget his super popular character the ant ant is that the antagonist oh and uh what? what's the ant's name baru thank you jer 
<laughs> he's yeah, just like real. turning over in his sleep. Brew. He's just like, Brew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's asleep right now. He just said that was. <laughs> he said that was sleep. God. He's, uh, the, he's just listening to the he's podcast. He's going in. King <laughs> um, I'm not excited. The, the probably interesting part would probably be him like training an inquisitor to be on the good side, and that's it. What the fuck else is going to happen? We already know what happens. That's a fair point. I, I and like, we're back on Tatooine. Get the fuck out of Tatooine. I'm sick of this yeah. shit. Yeah, Tatooine. 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 Yeah. Dude, yeah, honestly though, standpoint. yeah, that that's a fair point. I I was actually thinking about that when I said that the uncle got deep fried. I was like, well, if we know he got deep fried, why should we give a shit about him as a character? Like, we already know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know that Obi Wan turned him into a Force you, Ghost. Uh, Why should you give shit about get him? Attached to him? Well, the thing about Obi Wan is that he had way more of a role than getting deep fried. Well, now they're they're giving him a role. Yeah, he no, raised Luke but for fucking he was also, what like, eighteen years very or some shit. Prominent in the movies as well. Like he was a, obviously a huge figure in the movies, and so it'd just be really cool to see him in his prime. I don't know. He- what dick Ian McGregor sucked to get another role. That's probably not fair to say, but it just is very necessary. The fans would eat shit at a fucking Dark Vader's hands if they can. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't so, you? No. No. Oh. I have the willpower. <laughs> <laughs> See? But it's just, it, there's no real room for growth in Star Wars anymore. Even if they keep keep throwing like new characters at you it's it's not very interesting yeah see i agree with that i feel like what uh the what sets mando apart from all of this is that he's he was completely separate from like the star wars universe like almost completely separate from that like entirely and then now he's connected and now he's just disconnected again like he can just come and go and that's fine but like, like I feel like a separate story needs to be told. We don't need like, oh, this is how they got the plan to the Death Star. Like you know how Rogue One was. Mm-hmm. We don't really need that. It's more like we just that want sucks new to say shit. Because Rogue One was like the best new movies they had. Compared yeah, it to was. Sequels. It was. I. It was. It was better. It was definitely way fucking better than the new trilogy. That's for damn sure. It's just like, um, as far as like what we needed, that's just not really something we needed. You know what I mean? What did you think about Han yeah. Solo though? Or Solo? Uh, who? The the movie Solo. Oh, that movie. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So right. there's your answer. <laughs> Read the vibe. I yeah. get it. <laughs> I kind of liked Moving it. Moving on. <laughs> uh, another thing I don't think we really needed, because um, we know how that goes. Like, it's just, I feel like we can leave well enough alone. Like, these people are dead. Keep them dead. True. And not True. All, So what would be a really cool series is a Jedi that is like, disconnected from everything else like what if we got a fucking series about the dude from uh uh, what was that video game there's two of them force unleashed force Force unleashed Unleashed. that'd be nuts that'd be cool and it'd be disconnected and connected at the same time is he he's on clone wars he's not canon he hasn't showed up in any of the continuity not canon Mm mm-hmm what? See if we got something because like he that. He was the, cool. he was uh, Darth Vader's apprentice, mm-hmm. so it doesn't really. It'd doesn't be a really pretty big in. fucking thing to not talk about in the movies. Yeah, that makes sense. See, <laughs> like, but what if we got one, maybe like a Sith finding their way to the Jedi, or a Jedi finding their way to the Sith, but completely separate from like anyone like influencing their decisions like you kind of just see them like get darker and darker like you remember fucking boba fett uh where mando splits the dude in half i feel like mando wouldn't normally do that (laughs) 
but well, yeah, he would. He might. The bounty hunter. He did it. So he it's did it. He's... He was killing people in his own show. Yeah, but I feel like it was a little bit more humane, and like he was a little bit more patient. That he literally just let out some frustration on that dude. I would. Yeah. Um, Me too. I want more romance. Situational. Romance. I want romance is so interesting, and it can make a really compelling story with characters. But yeah, there hasn't with... really been any romance in any of the new Star Wars things. It's I been like, like a that, sexless. Uh... What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> um, I think it'd be really cool if we saw like more like playful romance because that's really fun to watch to me. And Star Wars so far has just been a sexless like galaxy, and it's not interesting at all. People aren't Whoa. sexy; they're afraid to look hot. And if they are looking hot, it's like played off like, "Could you like please put on a shirt?" It's like if like, you saw like media. Ben Solo, I would go to his fucking room and do unspeakable things if I was Ray. No cap. Okay. I would go to the dark Wait. side. You're Legit. Just... I'm too... Jesus Christ. I'd be going to the dark side if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's... He's just... Jeremy is a lucky man. <laughs> He's literally sitting right behind him He's saying just... all this shit. <laughs> Kelly's just like looking like, He back. thinks the same damn thing. We were like, oh. <laughs> But Ray's like, uh, uh, could you like, not look at me right now? It's like, girl, you kissed him. What does that have to say? I didn't like Ray in general, so I don't really fucking care. I think as far as romance goes, so do you remember at the very end, the very last movie, those two pilots kissed the lesbians two, kissing. two lesbian kiss? They so many fucking old heads were so pissed about that they're like oh, why yeah. did they need to add that it's like what do you mean add that like it, dude, why did you have it to seems point it pretty out fucking fluid yeah um i didn't even notice until someone told me it was there seriously it's not very valid it's it's very interesting to see a, a kiss in general in star wars but for one it's something that can easily edit out and it's not going to impact the story at all which i wish it should like i wish there was a character that was in love with another character who's the the same sex that'd be really cool to watch seriously that's but what i was gonna say too i disney, feel like that'd be cool Sorry. disney ain't gonna bring is not gonna do the time of day to do a full-length fucking movie knowing it can make a money in china who hates gays by the way who doesn't accept gay marriage and like it's just it doesn't feel very fulfilling and that's when you see like chris pratt like a oh a star lord is bisexual it doesn't fucking matter loki is bisexual it, we're never gonna see it it's not gonna care like no yeah. one's gonna yeah it's not gonna go to where you guys want it to go you guys yeah. can have your little fantasy fulfillments in your head where he's gay like oh canonically but it's not gonna do jack shit you're never gonna see him kiss a man ever chris is a, a christian straight man it's not yeah. fair for him to want it to be paid to go do this to another man it's like that's not fair yeah exactly you would see that's what i'm saying too we need to fucking we need and i think star wars would honestly be like the best place to do this that or right. even with this new miss marvel if miss marvel was a lesbian i could fucking see that honestly she's underage it's like 12 <laughs> yeah what miss marvel's like 12 didn't you watch the trailer just now I thought she was in like high school at least. I think so. Oh, she looks beyond her, underage. Her uh, actor's eighteen, but I think she's sixteen. Really? If they want to get these fools in a contract, they need to get them as adults. Yeah. She's um, gonna be in cameos and she's gonna be in collab movies. Yeah. Also, uh, what does that even matter if she was? Like, she could be a lesbian and still be fucking, like, fucking in a middle school. True. But, like, as Disney, they're not gonna 
have any sexual relation with children. Children. Well, yeah, are no, like they're this. not gonna yeah. fucking. I'm not saying like sexual. It'd be fucking weird. I'm just saying like, oh, like this is my stuff. girlfriend. Yeah. I love her. You know, and Disney's doing a lot of that nowadays. Like, they actually have like three different shows where like the main protagonist is gay. I think Owl House is one of those. Owl. Owl House and is that a per- there's another one. Yeah. Uh, Girl Meets World. I know there's a gay character. It showed like oh, them coming yeah. out or whatever. The new Proud Family season had a gay character. Oh yeah, one of her friends is, isn't she? It, it was a guy, I think. Oh yeah, no, there's definitely a guy. And he was like a drag queen. Pretty no, much. are you talking about the one that was being an asshole in the trailer or whatever? I think he's uh, supposed to be like James Charles. Oh god. Yeah, it's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, no, I I feel like Star Wars out of most of the series like that are out right now would probably be the better way to go for all this stuff. For gay uh, stuff. For gay stuff, yeah. Like, cause like, it's a fucking yeah. expansive ass galaxy. You're telling me there's not it one would make more sense. Yeah, yeah. It's just people would boycott the hell out of it if it was in like, say, Turkey or Russia or China. Who fucking they don't cares? See if it's that. an American-made film. They can deal with it. If they want to reach a billion dollars worldwide they need to pander as much as fucking possible and to appease appeal it's like a trailer for the or not a trailer but a poster uh a poster for the uh i can't talk he's distracting me with that giant fucking ball i'm sorry uh like a poster for uh the 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 force awakens totally like had finn out of the poster i'm like uh what for china yeah for a chinese poster for the force awakens finn wasn't even in it so it's just like like why are we even like why are we pandering to these countries who like don't really have our same fundamentals like which kind of sounds visibly racist sexist and homophobic like we probably shouldn't be like being like oh that's okay we'll switch it up for you like no yeah yeah do you think they just like a deleted every like scene with Finn in it so it doesn't make any sense? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just like a bloody oh, stormtrooper that it cuts to race. <laughs> it's, it's just uh something funny. They play the movie in reverse and like she goes back into work into the desert. They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you found your fucking place bitch <laughs> oh god that'd be really weird to watch it in reverse when kylo dies and all of a sudden he's making out with ray <laughs> now i know that star wars is for everyone which it is and i know marvel is for everyone because it is because you have representation shown that you know like oh i'm like this character so i like this character I don't think it plays too well for the new Halo show. Um, I didn't even know there was a show. Yeah, so I just saw that was the one of the topics. Show. I was kind of <laughs> going into that. Yeah. What? I yeah, I just this. it was just a, a YouTube ad I saw today. Like I hadn't heard anything about it until I saw that YouTube ad. I don't know shit about it. I just saw Master Chiefs in it, and it's a show on Paramount Plus. Mm-hmm. Is so quick, so you don't know shit about it. Fuck, uh, really not. I really wish they got Rooster Teeth's help in doing this because Rooster Teeth has been doing a Halo series for like my entire life. <laughs> hmm. Red oh, versus uh, blue. the fucking YouTube Red yeah. versus Blue shit. Red oh, versus God. Blue is amazing, but it's not like no, it was big action screen packs. material. If it, no okay so back then it wasn't but if they had the budget of a fucking whole ass other corporation doing their halo shit they can get something done 
if if Rooster Teeth mm-hmm. was even loosely involved, this would be both funny and action fucking packed with lovable characters. I don't think that's the goal for this show. It's kind of been like I love diversity when it's genuine, when it makes sense. We have lovable characters who have our different backgrounds, different races, you know, it's awesome, but it doesn't make too much sense when you have like I might be out of pocket for saying it, but it's like it's too much like I don't know how to explain it. it, it they're obviously pandering to as much people as possible, right? And it's only supposed to really pander to the people who have been the hardcore Halo fans. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't look like Halo. It just looks like something like Netflix shout out. Yeah, that's what I've been kind of afraid of. Have you seen any of the Halo movies? Uh, was it? No. So what? they're, like, decent, but, like, it it's, feels like such a quick, like, thing, and it feels like such a minuscule problem. But I think in both movies, Master Chief saves the day, but, like, doesn't really have a major role besides that. And I, I'm I'm almost positive that's what happens. Like I think like the Covenant are like trying to overthrow their base of operations or something like that, and like they have to like go room to room fighting all these elites and shit like that, and like barricade themselves in until Chief shows up and I think saves the day. Oh, yeah. It's like so fucking... it doesn't follow Master Chief. I don't I don't think either of them follow Master Chief no. I think like he's like either a cameo in the first one or he does again save the day. But I know in the second mm. one he saves the day. In the show that's coming out, it looks like Master Chief is like the main thing that they follow. Um, See, that would and be honestly, it, cool. it gives me off kind of like a Boba Fett vibes though. See, that's yeah. what I'm scared of. I'm afraid yeah. that we're going to take this very amazing, badass, lovable character mm-hmm. and we're going to shit on him with all these fucking inclusive-ass fucking theater kids. Like, <laughs> thanks, Chief! Exactly. You like, did it again! Oh, Yo, you're, you're right on top of it! Like, if Spartan Locke was in it, that's fine. I actually really like Spartan Locke, but th- that's that's it. I mean, I don't even think Master Chief's quote-unquote team from Halo uh, 5 should ever be around this. Because they were never, ever, ever mentioned before in any other Halo, I don't think. I don't think the problem is diversity anymore, like not enough diversity, because Halo has a very diverse cast of characters. It does. You have the Chief, uh, yeah. you have, who was that, uh, the general guy? You have Cortana, you have Dr. Housling, and you have a bunch of other like good fucking quality sparring characters. So it's not about that. It's about appealing to as much people as possible. That's why they like the new Lord of the Rings show is going to look like Garbo. Bro, why am I just now learning that all these fucking things are coming out? I had no idea there was Lord of the Ring. I had no mm-hmm. idea there was Miss Marvel. Oh, I had show? no idea there was Halo. Yeah. Kenobi so, I knew about, but I didn't know the trailer drop. Like same characters uh the lord of the rings show is going to be a prequel so it's gonna be like a hundred years before the lord of the rings or the hobbit um really is it gonna follow (laughs) smeagol it's like women like dwarf women canonically and the lord of the rings (laughs) universe have beards and they're sometimes mistaken (laughs) as male dwarves but like the new dwarf dwarf queen is like a pure beautified looking normal woman, which is like you're missing the mark so bad. And it's not about the content that you're making anymore. It's about you. It's about what you feel most comfortable with. It's not about trying to uphold a certain standard that the original creator had for his envisions. It's about you. And it's about you doing all this crazy shit to appeal to a mass amount of people. It's not genuine at all. It's yeah spitting in the face of the original people who made it i feel that honestly that's that's, it's like so sad to like say and hear this stuff because like 
when you were younger, like, you loved the original. Like, I actually loved the fucking Hobbit. The Hobbit, I think, is... I think I'm gonna like it more than Lord of the Rings, which I still haven't seen all of Lord of the Rings yet, but the Hobbit, I think, was, like, just genuinely awesome. Um, shut the fuck up, Ross. I see you <laughs> smirking down there. <laughs> if you've seen Lord of the Rings first, before you watch why would the Why would I watch Lord because of the Rings before the Hobbit? Because that's when it came out. That's when it came out, but that's not kinetically the fucking timeline. Yeah, but... You mentioned if you watched it beforehand then this is something you're gonna need to fucking get through your little fucking thick (laughs) school all right i'm a fucking turbo nerd all right if i'm gonna watch something i'm gonna watch it right (laughs) god jesus can watch like uh attack on titan season four then season one (laughs) what what the fuck (laughs) that wouldn't Um, work but no, like, it's kind of sad, like, seeing all these, like, revamps. Like, we don't need no fucking revamps. Like, have you guys seen, yeah. like, the whole thing for the new Ghostbusters movie? Where, like, instead yeah. of, like, following off of the one that they did prior to that with all the the entire women cast, it's now back to the guy cast, and they, like, only have, like, the oh, Ecto-1. Oh, it's when kids? No, I... no, it's like they discovered the Ecto-1 in, like, a barn somewhere random. I have actually heard that the movie was very fair and genuine because the son of the original creator was directing while the original creator was helping him and that's and that's fine it's just i feel like we didn't need it (laughs) like leave dead people alone same with carrie fisher same with the actor who died in ghostbusters Mm. it's very greedy and it's very scary that like light like after your death we will replace you We'll yeah. find a way to replace you. It's pretty sad, yeah. That's not sad. Leave oh. dead people alone. Like, if they touch Black Panther, I might riot. I don't think we should have anything else to do Aren't with they? Black Panther. I think they I might. Think they said that they're trying oh, to do, I think, a Black yeah. Panther 2. I think that all they need to do is say the Black Panther is now dealing with nothing but political stuff for the country. He no longer serves as, like, uh, the Black Panther or is more of like a political head or some shit like that. That's all they have to do. That's all they have to say. We all know what happened. It would really be Black Panther. Or you could say fucking T'Challa. In the most respectful way. Well, yeah, but how do you kill him off without like showing the audience that he's dead? You know what I mean? Like you can't just be like, oh, he died. Like, yeah, that's fine. Like opening scene, Black Panther in a fight and then just merc. Yeah, but then again, like they that's can't. just t- that's just replacing the actor and then killing them. Like it's, yeah. I feel like you just I mean, need it's to be not like they're showing the face. You could have the helmet. Like what it? Yeah, so true. That's true. It worked out with Carrie Fisher because all all they did for that was like I think she literally was supposed to die in that movie, and like she just got done recording it, and so that's so fine. She died just in time. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Oh but, god! <laughs> oh fuck! But like, yeah, she kind of did, and but Chadwick Boseman, like, he didn't get a chance, and that's what really sucks. Mm-hmm. And I feel like instead of like shooting it with a different actor and being like, "Oh, he died," like he, T'Challa would not have fucking died that easily. All right, we know what happened. Just say he's a political head, and we can move on without Black Panther. Maybe come back with Siri after you said that about Black Panther. Mm. Like leave like um, he'll leave like a keepsake for her or some shit like that. And then you can revamp Black Panther with his sister, but do not try to show on the screen that Black Panther is dying to something. Do not do that, because that would make no sense. Mm. It's just too it's out of the blue. It's- I think it's pretty tough, like, because we're looking at it from an audience's standpoint, like, I don't know, when you're looking at it from, like, a director's or a writer's or creator's standpoint, it's tough to work things in like that when you already had a story planned out, and you're, like, trying to get it in the works, and then someone that's really important just has an untimely death. Like, Carrie Fisher, General Ross, fucking Paul Walker. Paul Walker. That, I was going to say Paul Walker. But Paul that's Walker, another yeah. fucking thing, though. They have all 
done their parts. By the time they died, they have already finished their parts in the movie. Yeah. Which, but then like, it's oddly convenient. That's what I'm saying. Paul Walker. <laughs> no, that, that yeah. was his brother, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was his brother. But, like, they just straight up Paul replaced Parker. him. He died and they replaced him. <laughs> yeah, with his brother. But they kept his Paul role Parker. going. Oh, God. Like, I watched, um... I think it was the most recent Fast and Furious movie recently where Dom is a dad. Yeah, and it has <laughs> it was... wow, Kelly. Kelly, are you still drinking? What the fuck? No. But it's got Dom as a dad, it's got his brother, it's got his sister, I think. That no, shut the fuck up. Wait, no, Dom the brother with John Cena is so fucking stupid. Alright. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. Like yeah. and then oh, let's just at go the very nine end... movies without saying this. Seriously, and so one character, Han, he died in the third one. They yeah. brought him back to life. They didn't explain shit how he died. How he died. They were just like, "Oh, it's a long story. I'm here now." Like, what? Yeah. And then, like, at the very end, they're like, "I think Dom said like, oh, one person's missing," and he looks at Mia, like Paul Walker's character's wife, and he and. She's like, oh, he's on his way. And then it shows his car pulling up to the house. But what? they don't show the actual actor. And then uh, cut. It's what? Just, was it? Yeah. Was this all like a prequel or some shit? No, this is... It wasn't is, like a prequel. We, this is fucking like current day shit. Wait, they're trying to like replace him? I think no. it was just Cause in order went, to like, make sense. Like... Because he's still alive in that universe. They just want to keep yeah, his he's character still alive. alive. Yeah, so like yeah. when they split off, he's still obviously alive. And then I'm thinking the movie right after that, they said, well, we should call him. And it's like, no, we all promised that we would keep him out of this stuff from now on. Yeah, he's out of the game. They got a family, whatnot. But then they brought his wife into it, but not him. Hmm. See, this is where they're fucking up. Leave dead it's, characters dead. It's a mess. When shit like that happens, it's just a fucking mess. We shouldn't try to appeal to people who miss Paul Walker. You can't resurrect the dead. Just fucking keep them dead. It's okay. Like, we're it's all fucking human. Yeah, yeah, so this reminds me too. Have you guys seen the controversy about the Stan Lee Twitter account? Huh? Oh, yeah. People like... log... <laughs> Not not people, but like the the peop like people who manage uh, Stan Lee's account on Twitter posted that they're now that Stan would have wanted to sell these NFTs of a certain uh. character he had, an Indian superhero. And so they tried to promote an NFT through Stan Lee's Twitter. That's uh. fucking ridiculous. God, he should have deleted his account. This is what he would have wanted. It's what? fucking ridiculous. He would have asked Guys, he this. wanted you to buy Hulk pulp plushies. It's Link so in the description. Link in the fucking bio. It's so Same ridiculous. Thing with, like, like Freddie Mercury's account on Instagram is like full of like gay pride stuff, and it's like I don't think he's even one hundred percent gay. I think we shouldn't talk. Yeah, for he the was dead. he was bisexual. He fucked men and women. But I think he yeah. like men partners better. It just it doesn't I, seem fair for him to be a hundred percent gay. Like he really wasn't. Mm -hmm. Right. You had to hear that from his mouth from the mouth himself. Yeah. Mouth. I didn't even know Freddie Mercury had a fucking Instagram. What the fuck? Yeah, I, mean, I look at pictures time to time. Um when oh, when did he, die? <laughs> he died in nineteen ninety-five, November twenty way before Second. Instagram was created, way before anything was created, but they've got accounts for him. Like why? It's official, it's blue check marked. That's just ridiculous. Verified, dude. I Is there a George know. Washington Instagram? <laughs> Where, where's my boy surprised. Abe? Official. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ, man. Just leave dead people dead. It's like the most respectful thing you can do. Like, mention them like as in like, oh, I loved them uh, because of this. That's fine. 
Uh, you can show off their work, you can show off memoriams, but only do it, like, on the anniversary, maybe, of their death, I guess? I, I, don't, I don't think... Know. And I don't Frank's think should... Instagram is popping <laughs> off right now. He's like, yo, just chilling in the crib, quiet <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. It's a little my, cramped. It's a little cramped. Oh my gosh. I gotta go, guys. Bye. Oh, I gotta be quiet. The Nazis are downstairs. <laughs> the Nazis are downstairs. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what was the fucking, like, other. I was trying to think of the other, like, cam girl shit. <laughs> Fuck, what was it? TTYL or some shit. Oh my god. XOXO god. XOXO. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, That's the one I was no. thinking of. <laughs> I could just, I couldn't. Oh my god, that's so bad. God. Fucking hell. You know, maybe we are the problem. Maybe we feed it. <laughs> Throw me away. <laughs> Throw me away. <laughs> the kind of pictures I have on my phone, I should not be in public. Damn. Uh, what? Uh, what? Harry Potter. Uh, that's the new topic, guys. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Harry Potter? Wait, is there a new series? Is, is there a new series on Harry Potter? No, there's actually a really good video game uh, gameplay stuff that came out. Oh. It, what? So, what console is, on, is it on? Is it on everything? PlayStation, I think. It was a PlayStation, PlayStation. state of play. Um, um I'm gonna need to rewind I... really quick. Alyssa, you can kindly fuck right on off. Uh wait, what okay, did continue. You say? Alyssa, what did you say? What? I said he was a Hufflepuff. Oh. Fucking loser. Yeah, I'm a fucking Slytherin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can definitely see Kelly as a Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> Slimy little bitch. <laughs> With his creepy ass stare. <laughs> And, uh, what you call it? Uh, what's that? I'm Aryan. That's why. Oh yeah, yeah, Aryan? yeah, yeah. Blonde hair, blue eye. Oh. Uh, well, not really blonde okay. hair, but you could be a have half a patch if you wanted to, but I think you're too sinister Ew. for it. I rather Honestly, be evil. I can't. I I'd can't imagine. <laughs> Never mind, what am I talking about? Hufflepuff is like the only one that's 100% for homosexual people. <laughs> like, I feel like every Hufflepuff, I feel like every gay person is a Hufflepuff. And they I'm just decide it. that It's themselves. in the name. Yeah. <laughs> Alyssa, you're a Hufflepuff, aren't you? You little hey, shit. I see that, but, uh, but also not. You're a little too gentle. You're just a little ball of gay. That's all you are. <laughs> I, okay, thanks. <laughs> um, I think if she, if she's like dueling with a wand, she can probably scrap. Avada Kedabra. Let me saw. Let me saw. <laughs> Have you guys seen that TikTok trend lately with the oh <laughs> the boy who oh, lived dude, has come to me. die? Dude. Oh my god! He's, you know, hey, Alyssa, you show me your wand skill. I have a wand. It's oh, in my closet. You have an actual oh. wand? Wait, yeah, pull Luna, out. Luna loves Pull out, whip out that wand. <laughs> she pulls out like a, like a fucking dick. <laughs> That's <laughs> straight up dildo. <laughs> yeah, it's pink, guys. <laughs> oh, God. What do you levitate with it? <laughs> oh. Blood bending. Oh. Full circle. <laughs> Blood. Oh, God. Anyway, the new game looks really good. The graphics look nice. It's set in the 1800s. You get to customize your own character. What the fuck? It's, uh, you get to ride a broom around. Um, mm -hmm. You get to do like actual like combos with wand tricks. You can set things on fire, levitate stuff. You have to see the trailer for it. It's, Is it, it looks anything really similar to one to the one that was on the Wii? 
Potter. Wasn't that is that the last one that th- that was made? The they Wii made one? Lego Harry Potters. Yep, I played yeah. it in North Carolina. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's where I played. That's it. where they only sold that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only. They don't want this anymore. Exclusively North, North Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> they shoveled it all over there. <laughs> This is our most hated Lego game. Take it. <laughs> um, Jesus. I mean... I... Sorry, go good, for it. Good. There you go. Um, I was just going to say, I think, like... Well, I, in my head, I was imagining, because I'm such, I'm such in an Elden Ring mode right now, I was just like, you can, like, levitate shit, ride your broom and shit, just, like, you, you, like, enter a mist wall, and it's, like, one of the fucking professors, like, Snape, you have to fucking merc Snape. He's, oh, like, shit. a weird slug monster for some reason. <laughs> you know, that'd be kind of cool if it was, like, an open world thing. I think it is. You get to explore it outside the school, inside. There's dungeons. Uh, you get to go oh, to... Oh, it's like, like Wizard. the Lego one. It's Harry Lego Potter Elden one. Ring. A little bit. You get to go to class and make potions and potions. levitate. And, <laughs> oh. and you get to join... You get to choose your uh, house, too. You get to choose whatever you want. Oh, I thought you meant like build a house for some reason. I was like, no. why? There's a legit yeah, a house teenager. you can make in the game. There's gameplay that. You know what? Let's let's go around the circle here. So we already did Alyssa. Obviously, she's a Hufflepuff. Claims to be a Slytherin. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Kelly definitely a Slytherin. You creepy bastard. Hector right. also a Slytherin. Honestly, <laughs> you st- he gives Ravenclaw vibes. I That's think it like said uh, Gryffindor. Yeah, probably Gryffindor for you. You're, you're not the protagonist here. Sorry. You don't need to be a protagonist. <laughs> you're not that guy. <laughs> oh, I've kind of got the bravery for it. Yeah. I, I mean, the, he did drink pilk. All right. I did drink pilk. Um, I was just talking about pilk the other day. <laughs> this is full circle, sorry. It's... Because pilk is basically just a root beer float melted. So it's not that bad, right? Mm. Just replace Pepsi yeah. with That is beer, an extremely right? oversimplification. <laughs> but that's why you didn't hate it, right? It was just... I don't even know how to describe it. It was just Pepsi and milk. I. It didn't make anything different. Like, you can taste them individually... It's it's like they don't even mix and make anything different. Like you can taste them differently. Like they don't blend together good. They don't blend. Yeah, you taste them individually. They're like, oh, I taste milk. I taste Pepsi, but I don't taste. So it's Pepsi not milk. like a sweet milk. It still tastes kind of. It's like it's a milky milk. milk soda. Right. I like root beer float works better because it's like more sugar sweetie with like the root beer flavor. Creamy root beer milk. Would that be good? <laughs> please, <laughs> please try it Rilk. next Rilk. podcast. <laughs> root, wait, root milk beer. Root, root milk. <laughs> root milk beer. <laughs> Milk Ew. beer. Maybe. That's a real soft bar. Beer. It's fucking yeah. disgusting. Anyway, I'm a <laughs> Ravenclaw. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, we have the whole... I wish I had a fucking replica wand. That'd be so cool. I have a tiny wand that I bought. Uh, it's Janelle. But it's not, like, from Harry Potter. Just be like, I want to go... I want to go, you I'm say sorry. it so fast under your breath and kill a student. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? The f- explode. <laughs> Head just fucking blows up. You start imagine, fires across the school. Like, imagine, That'd be like, nuts if in the movies, like, there was like a serial killer in the school, just like someone going around murking people like that. Imagine, imagine, was like, me. passing a note and, like, the note says Avada Kedavra, 
<laughs> like they're just like reading it like they're just lipping it a vatican and then like their teacher fucking explodes and oh, no, <laughs> or um the teacher says uh read what you pass notes um <laughs> would you like to say your note with the <laughs> read <class>? out loud <laughs> <laughs> like senior pranks or some shit <laughs> Oh, those silly seniors. Holy uh, shit. Got them good. <laughs> I think I think for this thumbnail, Kelly, now we just need like uh Ronald Weasley like walking away from an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll try to make it work. Yeah, well whatever the fuck you want to do, that was just a suggestion. You can make fucking <laughs> Miss Marvel like Best Captain Marvel, if you want, I don't care. I'll don't probably give her like the sorting hat. <laughs> eh, that's not bad. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. What, what kind of class would she be? She'd be Gryffindor. Gryffindor, right? Yeah. 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 Real hero. Yeah. I, I don't think any superhero would be anything but Gryffindor, except for mm -hmm. Doctor that's, Strange. I think, I think he would be Ravenclaw. Deadpool <laughs> would be <laughs> Hufflepuff. You'd be the defense against the dark arts teacher. I think I Hufflepuff think if you put the sorting hat gay? on him. No, if you put the sorting <laughs> hat on him, he'd just like the sorting hat would just straight up explode. <laughs> da -da, I, don't know. <laughs> I need to do everything in my power to stop this man. <laughs> Can you guys imagine Ryan Reynolds in the current day MCU? Or do you think it's too late for him? Do you think the Avengers should have been around? If he has his cane, it'd be okay. His walking cane. Wait, what? Cane? Ryan he's Reynolds? Uh, he's... Uh, how old is he now? Is he in his 40s, late 40s? He's. I think he is kind of old, but... Kelly, how fucking dare you even insult the man? Excuse me? He's gorgeous. <sighs> He's not that old. He's been gorgeous for like ten years now. I'm kind of. <laughs> He's was gorgeous oh. back in the eighties, I think. Honestly, it not would. caring for the movies he's coming out with lately, like the Adam Project on Netflix. I don't even want to watch it. It, looks, it kind it of looks good. Really I kind of like it. Better wow. to it. And it's like the same people who like helped with Free Guy. I think helped with that, and everyone loved. Oh, that. I just I watched that recently. That. It's, it was kind of cool. But the one that he did with The Rock, I, I feel like was, what was oh, kind of dumb. It was definitely a Netflix movie, that's for sure. Which, which this one is isn't a popular opinion, but I don't think he's very funny. He's like, yeah. oh, I, uh, I'm in a silly situation. Oh, right, please so, don't beat me up too hard. Um, yeah. How do I block someone on Discord? <laughs> Yeah, Kelly, um, what the fuck? You're just speaking uh, blasphemy right now. I think he's hilarious. Guys, this man is perfection. Is he? When's he? Yeah. When's he last? It got. You short? know what it is. You know what it is. He, Kelly saw his chest, and it is bare bottom. It is bare as fuck. That's why Kelly's against this. You There's lengthy, no lengthy, sexy, sexy body, hair. son of a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, shirtless. <laughs> shirtless. <laughs> I think he has hair. Uh, what is show is. Um, he was sexy back then. He'll never do it ever again. Um, what movie is he in with The Rock? He's a respectable Red actor Notice. Now. Mm -hmm. And um, Gal Gadot was in it too. Yeah, that I don't think that was The Rock. I think that was that uh, was The Rock. Was it not? Uh, Brian Dave Reynolds, Batista? Gal Gadot, and The Rock. I thought that was Dave Bautista. Definitely The Rock. Uh, yep. The Rock's big old head and neck. Bro, I fucking yep. hate The Rock. The Rock can suck a nut, honestly. I fucking hate The Rock. Yeah, he's kind of overrated now. Uh, overrated tell him now? To his face. He is never, ever. Yeah, tell him to his face, because he's this big fucking strong guy. You know what? He's not a good actor. I he's find just he's funny. Sometimes. He's funny. I don't think he's funny at all. His his whole gimmick is that he can crush you under his thumb. That is the entirety of the Rock's personality. That's why he's quote unquote funny. 
small compared to him. Yeah, exactly. That's why he has like or what, like three movies with Kevin Hart now, right? That's yeah. just because they're a funny duo together. Like they're yeah, actually because one's and they like huge and together. jacked, and the other one's tiny and scrawny. That's not all there is, though. He, he, you're so tiny, haha. <laughs> it's like Hi, Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill when they did Twenty One Jump Street. Oh, Gina Davis and Stuart Little. <laughs> not zooming. The... Fuck off, Alyssa. <laughs> you know, I don't fuck it. You, we can get a different host in here, honestly. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> She's our token female. Uh, yeah. Our token host, female. So. If you didn't have me, you'd be sexist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You know, I, I do have to say we should wrap there, though, because we are at an hour and a half. Uh, save all reserved aggressions for after the podcast <laughs> you can live with me. anyway guys li- uh thank you for listening to this episode of Candy buddies I'm... Oh, oh wait wait wait, 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 wait. How we gotta do, do the first game yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. how do we keep forgetting uh, that was ready to do. i was <laughs> she's putting up piece she's putting up game she's... signs all right who was the guy we had who was the guy i know uh... the girl was amber heard Fuck, who was the guy? Oh, no. I don't even know what she looks like. I need to look uh, She was what, the girl in name? Aquaman. Amber Heard. The girl that know. fucked over Johnny Depp. Amber Heard. Oh, she's... Oh. I think she got big old pepperonis. She got big old salami. I think she's got, like, that, like, conish, translucent type. That's, that's what I was thinking, too. I think she's got those. You know, like, those African mothers... Where they got like, the <laughs> I think that's what she's got. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's like it's uh, like it's like little like tents. Pepperonis. Yeah. They're they're like spider webs. Like little like uh, kind of perky. Yeah. Big on the bottom. I have to see her tits. <laughs> so let's just like rating it. <laughs> just not even, not even talking areolas anymore. <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh, who is the guy though? We did uh, Robert. I'm De trying Niro. to. I'm trying to watch the video from the last episode. Let me see. Okay. Oh, she got itty bitty mosquito bites. Oh, um, Amber Heard does. Yeah, I thought she had bigger boobies. I think she has like what you were. Ryan Reynolds. About. Oh, it was Ryan Reynolds? Oh. Hell yeah! Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, okay. is perfect an answer? Uh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Whatever you want, he is. <laughs> uh, I want to say... I want to say not uncut. uncut. Uh, sorry, I think he's cut, but, like, there's, like, no scar. It's just this perfect dick. Like, I feel like he was born perfect. It's this nine-inch clean shaft popping veins. He has, like, his initials carved in his pubes. <laughs> is no pubes. Trip. No, no pubes. pubes. If, looks there, perfect. if there is pubes, it's either the Deadpool symbol, the Green Lantern symbol, uh, uh, unironically, or his initials. R R. Yeah, R R. Um, I think he's shaved. I think he's completely smooth. Um, <laughs> and cut. He looks like he he looks like a a, a cut guy. Yeah, I'm getting cut vibes. Yeah. Alyssa. Oh yeah, definitely cut. So Hector, you're the only one who's saying uncut. Uh, it's like it's tough because I want to say. I don't know. I'm just perfect. I'm just like imagining like. I don't even know how to this describe man's it. dick right now. Can yeah. You explain yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to picture his dick right now. <laughs> And it's, I can see the length, I can see the girth, but I can't see the foreskin. <laughs> so he's <laughs> that. It's not important. <laughs> if you can't visualize the foreskin, maybe he has no foreskin. Well, it's just that no one really cares about looking at the tip of a dick. It's hard uh, to envision. That's the first thing going in your mouth. I wonder what the skin tone would be. It's probably also like, perfect. Like a cow. 
No, I was thinking more like a, like a like a tan, like a pale. like a Captain America just coming out of the chamber. <laughs> that was a tanning booth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'll go with cut. Ah, the consensus is complete. Yep. He's, we all think he's cut. I'm going to see right. if there's an answer on Google really quick. Uh, yeah. If I can yeah. choose the next um, one. One sec. Maybe we should do, like, people, like, for the next episode um, that were involved in this episode. So we could say Ewan McGregor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, just, or do you want to just or like female. do random people? I think random people do better. Oh my god! Mark Ruffalo. Mark, that's a good one. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. And fuck, what's her name? Emma Watson. Didn't we do oh. it? No, I thought we did it. So no. my, what I was going to say was we do uh, uh, Jack Black. <laughs> I was going to say Nicolas Cage. Oh, shoot. Those are good ones. Yeah. What, what do we Let's... want? Here. Okay. I'm going to do like a, like a, we're just going to, a coin flip between three. Or what's a thing. pie chart that? Uh, you can you the, a spin wheel thing. Yeah. Yeah. Spin. Yeah. I'm gonna look Four, one up real three. quick. Ah, uh, they usually have one. One sec. Uh, oh, random. Three sided dice. So we just choose a number between one and three for each of them. So we'll do. What, what were our options? It was. Uh, okay. Jack, one. Ryan, or not Ryan. Wait, Mark. Jack, one. Mark, Mark two. And E1. Who's oh, we need four. Are we doing E1 McGregor? I mean, we don't have to. I don't give a shit. I can picture him as oh, a smooth crotch, like a Kendall. <laughs> what? Wait, who? E1 yeah. McGregor? He, oh, okay. he plays a gay guy with Jim Carrey. I just watched it the other day. Really? Yeah, it was like, I love you, Philip something. That sounds familiar, actually. Okay, anyway, roll the die. Alright, so it's between four, right? Sure. <laughs> okay, so one is Jack, two is Mark, three is Elon, or Eon, whatever the fuck his name Ewan. is. Ewan. And then the fourth one is... Nick. Nicholas Cage? Nick, Nick Cage. Cage. Mm -hmm. Right, alright. It's Nick Cage, baby! Let's go! Hey. I've never been more disappointed and <laughs> happy at the same time. Um, but <laughs> I hate female? the man. <laughs> what about female? Zendaya. Oh. No, we should do like a shitty yeah. actor with another shitty actor. Um, yeah, a woman that we hate. Amy uh, Schumer. Amy Sh <laughs> That's the one I was looking for. Amy Schumer. <laughs> I hate her humor. It's so it's negative really about women, and she tries to make it positive about women. It's Brie bad. Larson. Brie Larson. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I no, I think Amy Schumer honestly takes the cake on this one. Oh, I thought we were gonna do the dice again, but okay, Amy Schumer. Yeah. Oh, we can so... do the dice. Make it no, 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 no. There's I, already I, a think, consensus. No, 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 no. We don't need to do that Schumer. shit again. Yeah, we don't need to do that. All right. So Nick Cage, Amy Schumer. Leave it in the comments. Tell your friends. Right, like, yep. subscribe. All that fucking jazz, because we're trying to pop Buy off here. Merch. I'm trying Buy to get our here. merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll Monster sell us. My I'm cat's trying to feed my baby. I'll sell my cat's... I'll sell feet pics. <laughs> I'll sell her toe bean pics. Toe beans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys. Yeah. Um.